so over the last couple of months I tried what I think is the most powerful supplement I've ever tried in my life and here are the lessons I've learned the good and the bad this is a very beneficial supplement but also a very dangerous one let's go so this is the supplement it's called 5-HTP and I've been trying it for the last two months every day and uh, it made me conclude that this is the most powerful supplement available on the market, off the shelf, anywhere. And I'm going to explain exactly how I reached that conclusion. But first, let's learn a little bit more about what 5-HTP is and what it does to the human body. So the way it works is it increases something called serotonin levels. So serotonin is a brain chemical that is involved in many bodily functions. We'll talk about what those are a bit later. Uh, unfortunately, 5-HTP, you can't find it in food. There's no food that contains it. So we have to take it as a supplement. And the supplement is made from a, an African plant called Griffonia simplicifolia. And uh, you can see it here, it's kind of a greenish, lime green uh, plant and uh, this is where we get the 5-HTP supplement. So now let's learn a little bit more about the proven scientific benefits for this 5-HTP um, supplement and the first one is I think what 90% of people who use the supplement use it for. The first benefit of 5-HTP that I want to discuss is its benefits for low mood. So the, the exact cause of what causes low mood is actually still not 100% known. We think it's due to low serotonin. So as we said, 5-HTP helps the body make serotonin. So people have said maybe this helps with improving low mood. And some studies have shown that 5-HTP does improve mood. And it's better when combined with um, kind of conventional uh, medications for low mood. When you combine the two with 5-HTP the result seems to be better but to be honest the studies are not super powerful. So that was the first benefit. The second benefit is going to be extremely popular with most people who have this very common issue. The next proven benefit of 5-HTP is something that will excite everybody. It's its benefits for weight loss. Now, 5-HTP doesn't go you know, into your body and start melting fat. It doesn't do that. What it does is uh, it improves the, f uh, the feeling of fullness. So you feel uh, fuller for longer and you feel fuller a lot quicker. So obviously, if you're full, you're not going to eat as much. Uh, you consume less calories. And the evidence for this is very strong. The studies are uh, quite powerful. Uh, in fact, one study of 20 people showed that Taking 5-HTP reduced their calorie, their daily calorie intake by 435 calories versus the group who didn't take the 5-HTP. I mean, five, 435 calories, that's a, that's a meal. Basically, that's a meal. The average meal, I think, is about 500 calories for most people. So 435 calories, that's you, you're basically eating one less meal per day. And obviously, you are going to lose weight very, very quickly. And uh, the other interesting thing is that 5-HTP seems to target the calories from carbohydrates in particular. Uh, apologies for the spelling mistake there. Which is, re re this is really, really exciting because especially in the West, we have um, an epidemic of people eating too much carb. So anything that can reduce the calories from carbohydrates is very welcome. But the next proven benefit of 5-HTP is uh, the reason I decided to take it. And... Uh, it's been quite successful. Let's have a look. 5-HTP can have really good benefits for migraines and headaches. So for people who suffer from uh, especially chronic migraines and headaches, 5-HTP has been shown to reduce the frequency of migraines and headaches. Uh, so the frequency obviously means if you have uh, you know, 20 migraines per month, uh, taking 5-HTP should hopefully reduce that. And um, th there's a consistent picture that studies have shown that uh, there's about a 70 to 75% reduction in migraine frequency in most of the studies that I've seen. And these studies basically compared uh, people taking 5-HTP versus people taking just a regular, you know, anti-migraine medications that are available. So this is really, really promising and the evidence is very strong. So it, unlike in some of the other categories, where the evidence was like, yeah, we need more studies here. The evidence is very clear and very strong. 
And the next benefit of 5-HTP is for a very, very common problem affecting probably 50% of the people watching this video. There's very strong evidence that taking 5-HTP improves the quality of sleep. It's, but the way it works is 5-HTP is converted in the body to something called melatonin. Now melatonin is the um, chemical or the hormone that um, regulates your circadian cycle, your bodily, your bodily cycle. This is part of the reason why you feel sleepy when it gets to the evening and you start to wake up in the morning. Melatonin does all this regulation. So the studies have shown that 5-HTP uh, improves both the sleep quality and duration. So the sleep tended to be deeper and the duration people were sleeping for longer. And the evidence is very, very strong with this one. And the interesting thing I saw is that it works even better when it's combined with something called GABA. So the next benefit is um, another very common problem, which is part of the reason why I think this is uh, the most powerful supplement off the shelf uh, available today. Let's have a look. There's some evidence that taking 5-HTP can help with pain control, especially for people who have a condition called fibromyalgia. So this is a condition where there's kind of aches and pains all over and um, the exact cause is not known. It's a very difficult condition to treat, but we think it's linked to low serotonin. So if you take 5-HTP, which increases your serotonin levels, it could help improve the pain control for people with uh, fibromyalgia. The evidence is quite promising but more research is needed. So, so now let me tell you about my personal experience over the last two months with 5-HTP. But before that a quick disclaimer, do not copy what I'm doing, uh, you know, kind of taking this, uh, doing the research myself and taking it. I'm a professional, I'm a pharmacist so I've done the research and all that. Uh, for you, go and see your healthcare provider and they can advise you. So my personal experience. So. The last two months there's been some positives and some negatives. I'll start with the positives. The first positive is uh, the reason I've been taking it for was obviously to reduce uh, the intensity and frequency of migraines and that has been a success. Uh, I think I've only had one migraine in the two months that I've been using this and that's about average for me and I noticed the migraines were a lot less intense so normally I'd um, have a really pounding headache afterwards uh, I, still have a, uh, I still had a headache afterwards, but it was way less intense and it passed very quickly. So I was on the road to recovery very, very quickly, which is very good. So on that front, it's been a success. Uh, the second benefit is the quality of the sleep. So I wasn't um, sleeping for longer, but the depth of the sleep was much, much better. Uh, I have an app on uh, one of my phones to track the REM, which is... Um, the deepest level of sleep and uh, I tracked it for a few days and I was in deep sleep for a lot longer than usual um, so even if I slept say for only five or six hours a day I still felt quite fresh because I was happy I was having longer deep sleep now let's talk about the negatives and the first one was in the first week my stomach felt like hell uh, I actually had to stop using it because I felt cramping, uh, cramping pain, I felt bloatedness, I felt excess gas, it was horrible. So I stopped it for a few days and I knew this was part of um, the, side, the known side effects of this supplement. So what I did was I just gave my body a break and restarted it after a few days on a lower dose. And by the way, the dose I've been using throughout this uh, for most of the time has been 100 milligrams per day, so quite a low dose. When I restarted it, um, hey presto, everything was fine. It's like my body got used to it and that's a really good tip. The second issue I had with this is I felt really sleepy the following morning, uh, especially in, in the first uh, two to three weeks. So I would feel really, really great, you know, had great sleep. But then when I wake up in the morning, it would take me many hours to be alert. So if I wake up, say, at 8 a.m., it would take me until 12 or 1 p.m. to feel awake and alert. So that fixed itself by, I would say, the third or fourth week. 
So that might be another issue that you have to deal with if you ever try this supplement. Now, let's go through some of the side effect profile of this uh, drug and that will really explain when I say this uh, supplement is powerful but also incredibly dangerous if you don't know how to use it properly. So let's discuss side effects and these are possible side effects and remember uh, people always think that side effects have got a 100% chance of happening, they don't. Some side effects are common, some side effects are less common, some are rare, some are extremely rare. In terms of, in terms of 5-HTP, the most common side effects without a doubt is a stomach upset. So for the first uh, maybe week or two, it's quite likely that uh, your stomach will take time to get used to the, to the supplement, to the 5-HTP. You might have some bloatedness, um, you might have some cramping, so this is fairly common. Drowsiness is also common, um, so the following morning uh, a lot of people feel quite drowsy and quite groggy. Again, most people get over that um, and the body adjusts to the uh, supplement within a week or two. Uh, something that is less common, uh, thankfully is very rare, is something called serotonin syndrome and this is very very dangerous. So let me cover what serotonin syndrome is because serotonin syndrome is the reason why I class this supplement as the most powerful supplement off the shelf available today. Uh, so serotonin syndrome remember 5-HTP uh, gets converted into serotonin and if you take too much 5-HTP that means you're gonna have too much serotonin. So what happens to the body when you have too much serotonin? If it's a mild case, you might have some shivering and diarrhea, but be okay. If it's severe, you might end up with seizures and it could be fatal. So this is why you can't mess about with this. You can't just run to the shop, buy it and take whatever dose you want. So before we end, let me go back to my original argument that I think this is the most powerful supplement available off the shelf today. And the reason is, can anybody tell me another supplement that is scientifically proven to help you lose weight, improve your mood, fight pain, and get rid of your migraines and headaches with solid scientific evidence? If you know such a supplement, let me know in the comments below and um, I might even make another video about it. Take care, see you soon.